So there's a plugin that I like, and it's called Fractalius, and it's made by a company called Redfield. And I'm not sure exactly what it does, but um, the effect that it has is that it takes photographs and images, and it produces uh, sort of interesting artwork from them. It could be quite abstract like this, or it could be more realistic like uh, these examples that are coming from the Fractalius Redfield website. Um, so I found that it's quite coherent when you use it to process animated elements and you can get some very um, interesting effects that way. For example, this kind of uh, organic looking tendrils that are reaching out and connecting to each other and tying in knots and untying and um, it's something which um, I'm not sure exactly how I would produce this any other way. It's quite interesting considering that uh, what I'm really doing is processing canned After Effects animation. So um, if you say um, new solid and you say effect and uh, let's see where is it noise and grain uh, I believe it's uh, turbulent noise and if you look through these different options you'll see one of them is called max and you can scale and animate this soft this uh, noise um, and what I end up producing is something that looks like this. A bunch of images that look like this and they animate. And if I run them through the Redfield Fractalius plugin, then um, sometimes I can just scroll through these sort of um, uh, canned presets. And the one that I think I ended up using here is called Slow Motion. And what I have to do then is process it in Photoshop because this is where this software runs. It runs only on a PC and it runs only in Photoshop. But um, you can create a uh, script and once you've done that you can get the effect that I just uh, showed you in After Effects so if I say import file we go up and look at the output of After Effects which I'm calling lumps and watch that play that's what produced the sort of tendril-like animation that I produced. Um, another thing we could do is say file import and we could look at another piece of canned animation from After Effects and this is something called drizzle and it's one of the effects that you can tune. It's kind of like water droplets and it produces this effect. And if we watch it play in real time, it's kind of like that. And if we look at the what Fractalius produces, from that you get this kind of network of lines that also has this quality of sort of reaching out to each other and establishing connections and breaking and establishing new connections and it's again it's another thing which would be somewhat difficult to create any other way so it could be useful for a sort of I don't know an energetic force field or some sort of network or something like that of course you want to color it do something more interesting with the color than just um, black and white. But let's say um, color balance, maybe take the 
bright colors up take the dark colors down do something like that that's probably a little crazy but um, anyway just sort of an example so one of the nice things again that I like to use about Fractalius is that it, if you can figure out an interesting piece of animation to give it then you can process unusual animations from it that would be difficult to create any other way.